Hello and welcome, my name is John Strand and in this video we're going to be talking about using Spidertrap to entrap and ensnare any web application pen testers or hackers that are trying to come into your web applications. Now, for this particular video we're going to be using the Active Defense Harbinger distribution or ADHD which can be found at activecountermeasures.com go forward slash into projects and you'll be able to download the same distribution that I'm using here. This is also the same distribution that we use in our Wild West Hacking Fest classes. You can look at that schedule at www.wildwesthackingfest.com. And I also use it at Black Hat training as well. So let's jump right in. Now, as it is always with any of the different utilities that we use uh, for ADHD, all of the instructions are on the desktop in a file called ADHD Usage. We'll be using that file for everything. Now, once you're in here, you're gonna be using the Annoyance category. And you're gonna be selecting Spider Trap. Once you have selected Spider Trap, it's gonna bring up a website that's going to show you where you can actually download Spider Trap, general, a generalized description and usage information for Spider Trap. Now, I'm gonna walk through these instructions very, very quickly to give you an idea of how this tool actually works. Now, the first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna start Spider Trap with no options at all. Here, I'm just running python2 spidertrap.py. I hit enter and it's listening. That's it, it's listening on port 8000. Now to see what it actually does, we're gonna open up a browser and let's just surf to port 8000 on my computer system. So we go HTTP colon uh, forward slash forward slash and we are going to go to port 8000 on 127.0.0.1 because there's no place like home. And now once we have this, you're gonna see that as soon as we load Spidertrap on port 8000, it's gonna show us a series of random links. Now those random links are somewhat important. The reason why those links are important is because if we click on any of those links, it's gonna bring us more random links and yet more random links and more random links and yet more random links. Now, what exactly is this doing and why is this important? When you're looking at cyber attribution or you're looking at cyber deception, one of the key components of what we can do is sort of fake the adversary or the hacker out. Now, the reason why is if we're looking at a basic algorithm of detection time plus reaction time must be less than the amount of time it takes for an attacker to break into your organization, we want to increase the amount of time it takes for the attacker to successfully identify any systems or vulnerabilities on those computer systems. By creating a bunch of different randomized links, we're not stopping the attacker, but we are actually going through and increasing the work effort the attacker has to go through to identify the real web server pages on your web server. So what does this look like to an actual attacker or crawler? Well, here I'm just gonna use wget. Now, wget is a tool that if I use the minus R, it recursively goes to a web page and it'll try to pull down and make a local copy of all the different HTML and JavaScript files that exist on that web server. And as you can see, it just keeps going and going and going, still going, 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 and then I'm bored and I'm just gonna hit control C. Now, eventually, if an attacker was running an automated crawling tool, it would exhaust all of the memory or it would exhaust all of the disk space on the computer system. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to throw in another option with Spidertrap. Spidertrap also has the ability to take in a dictionary file. Now a dictionary file allows you to feed in a list of different directory names instead of it coming up with randomized directories. So now if I run it with big.txt and ADHD, now we have real names, Cheryl, Really, Nebraska, Issue, SMS, Toyota, Skins. And if I click on any one of these, it brings up Tomcat, SendMail, Ask, Premierio, Registered, we've got Sparky, we've got Cobra, we've got Terrorism, we have Poker, we have Projects, whatever. This makes the fake web server look a little bit more realistic. And yes, it'll still get caught in an automated crawling spider. Now, is spider trap something that you would wanna do on an enterprise app? Not even close, not even close. Is it great for articulating the different things you can do to mess with an attacker? Absolutely, it's really, really good at that. 
Um, also, you can use it tactily. If you think that you have an attacker that's trying to break into your website, you can throw this up on robots.txt. You can put it in sitemap.xml. These are things that normal users would never come across, but their automated utilities would. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next video. As always, be sure to check out Wild West Hack and Fest, Black Hills Information Security, and Security Weekly every Wednesday with Matt Alderman, Paula Zadorian, and myself, where we talk vendors and what works and what doesn't. Thank you so much and I'll see you in the next video. This episode was brought to you by Black Hills Information Security, specializing in pen testing, red teaming, threat hunting, webcast, open source tools, and blogs. It was also brought to you by AI Hunter from Active Countermeasures. The AI stands for actual intelligence. Need a threat hunting solution for the network? Check out AI Hunter. It is also brought to you by Wild West Hackenfest, currently offering conferences in San Diego and Deadwood, South Dakota. To check out the schedule and the speaker lineup, check out wildwesthackenfest.com.